Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. Everybody just ran through the screen there reporting for work, beginning of the day. Um, I ran the game forward a ways to take out all of the uh, algae. And we're a thousand grams and hundred. Okay, still a problem there. And this one over here as well, cleaned that out. Where are we at? About 1,600 algae. Started clearing out down here. And then I ran a, uh, a ladder down through this. Got a lot of this cleared out and started just kind of getting ready for the next stage. And then turned it off, went to bed. Next uh, evening, no, next, yeah, evening, after work that day. I went to record yesterday's episode and turned it on and the carbon dioxide was way up into here, just taken over, almost no oxygen, everybody was stressed, it, it wasn't, I, I'm pretty sure I didn't leave it that way. And I ran it, started to record and it was pretty obvious it was a, a, a lost cause. So I went back a day and worked with it a little bit and it was still just as bad and so i got to researching found out there'd been an update i don't know exactly what they did under the hood that they didn't mention in the notes but for some reason everything was running a little bit differently so let's take it back several days and we're going to give this another try um, i did make a change in here worth noting we kept having so many problems with enough oxygen over here that course now that I say that it's looking pretty darn good now um, I brought that out here to be near the oxygen which they're not using because we have no power okay let's take one of these up to a nine make sure it always gets always gets run oh okay Thomas Love was nice and was happy that he made a masterpiece all right um, and then I got to thinking you know lots of oxygen we'll get the massage tables over here we get the uh, uh, the generators over here and we'll never have the issue where they're they can't continue doing either job because they can't get enough oxygen to survive that makes more sense I should have done that all all along we'll get back to making this the primary massage room when we've got oxygen being pumped in with duct work and, and you know each room will have a supply and it'll work so much better but that is there um, what else changed not a whole lot, really. I mean, it's, it's amazing how little gets done in 10 days on this game. So I tried also, yeah, I tried with that work between episodes. I went through and gave everybody specific jobs. And it took so long to get anything done. You know, the ones that had the jobs of doing the delivering were the ones that were all stressed out and on the tables so they weren't delivering to these guys or they weren't delivering to the, the the construction to build and so there was no building going on and so by the time that they were no longer stressed and were delivering goods the builders were all stressed out and working the tables and I think I w would rather have everybody flexible to do anything that they're next to when it's time for something to be done. I don't think I'm going to specialize like I would in RimWorld. It's just not going to uh, to work the same. I, I don't think. Here's something I had to do though. I had popped this to get the water through to run, you know, to use the last of this pump right here before we got this one going, which is running. You can see it kind of neat animation just kind of stretching those pipes out and just flexing it and pushing it through but what was happening is we would make a drop and it would run all the way through and get to here and they would come down and get just a tiny little bit and a tiny little bit and a tiny little bit and a thousand little trips with a tiny little bit so actually I'm gonna do this instead I wait I wanted to wait till I hit record to do it but let's capture all of this right here let them just run over and get a large quantity all at once instead of always getting just a 122 grams just 82 grams, just little tiny bits. So that's not working. But we are really not running the wheels. One is. Interesting. What have I got for priorities now? I went through and toned down a lot of them. Yeah. Massage tables are nines. Mostly sevens on all of the different uh, 
important ones. Doors are nines just because if I want a door locked, I want it locked over and above everything else. If I want to lock a door or open a door, it's because there's a real important reason for that. Otherwise, we're eights on here. We're, we were, yeah, we're eights on there. Jobs, power, everybody. That's pretty wild. <laughs> okay, well, for now, we are going to nine these puppies and get them done. And that kind of works, too. They're not going to take very long to do it. Get them all on there first of the day, run them out, fill the batteries, and then go off and do whatever they want to do. And there won't be any more power to do until... Can I copy settings? I cannot. Until 35. How about that? Boy, twice in a row I just nailed it. You? 35. No, 26. There it goes. Okay. In which case, we qualify. Well, we're just about here now. I did swap out the two little batteries for two big ones. Alright, have I covered everything that has changed? And again, it, I'm having to figure it out myself, because I changed a whole lot more than lost five days worth of, worth of gameplay. And so, I had... What I was doing, instead of this little deal here, I was, I sent a ladder down thinking they would just start taking out of here. So let's prioritize this group here. And let's get, that didn't work. Click and wait. There and there. Get that one going. But we just need some power. Am I really missing something here? I'm not. Generator's idle means it is connected. They do not want to do it, which is really odd. Let me think about it. Jobs. Power is here. Massage is the only thing that they do that's a higher priority. They're delivering right now like crazy. Now, a lot of things changed with the update. One of them was that they would provide sand to the air de deodorizers over and above sweeping anything. So there are a few little twists under the hood that are not obvious. You know, so they're going to do a delivery job before they're going to do a sweep job in that case. I really wonder if delivering water has been given a higher priority than anything else too. Because that's all they're doing. Now, one issue is they're going to do it until this plant reads full. Using water. Where is the... Oh, I have to click on it. Uh, they're still waiting for 84 kilograms. And they're bringing a half to one kilogram at a time. Yeah, that's killing us. Okay. So they're going to spend all their time watering one plant. Because they're... They're making all these trips. Okay, we're just going to have to get this cleaned out. And which is almost done now. We're going to run over here, get the last little bits on the ground, and be done. Though they're still pulling a thousand grams out of nothing. That's impressive. I'll take it. <laughs> anyway, so while they are doing that, let's talk about dupes. What do we got? We have a learning. Ten decor expectation. That's a bit high. We have another creative. And we have athletics. Do we want to go that route or do we want to wait one more time? I'd rather get construction digging and strength and whatnot. Athletics, tinkering, strength. Ha. Huh. 15. That's a no. Okay. Let's say no to this bunch. And we'll see what comes up here real soon. All right. Are we still, deli We're still delivering to the one? All day long to deliver that one. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We can't do that again. You were a nine. I will give you that. Because I couldn't get them to deliver to it before. Alright. If I'd realized that, I would have taken down to an eight during the day and see if it made a difference. We did get this one spun out, which means... But we didn't get anything delivered to here. <laughs> Oh, dupes. Should, I hate to call them duped, but uh, that was that was a duped moment there. <laughs> okay, hopefully tomorrow will be better. So, long-term plans. 
Algae is at 13. I want to get into this bank right over here. Which means sending them down this ladder, taking out the little bits here and there and into that. And that is because I wasn't running these guys. Because they take... Well, from here. Refinement. 240? Power, 120. Hmm. Uh. Oh, interesting. I clipped that off because this was... Yeah. Let me let me look this up in here. I did. I took that off there so it would all go to these guys. That was a mistake. That's also why it's shut down, isn't it? Building disabled. Okay. Let's enable. Enable. Let's put a vent. Uh, plumbing. And that would be a liquid vent. As a 9. Right there. Get that running again. That'll make more algae right there. I shut that down because we're really hurting on power at one point. I went ahead and split power up again. So that's another project that I did off camera. So I split the two circuits again and uh, two good sized batteries on each one. Temperatures, how are we doing? We're still... Well, we're more in the green now than the warm from before. A lot more green showing. We still do not have any way to cool this area. So, I, I drew this in here with the thought that maybe we get a second one of these right here. But I didn't want to do it until I had enough other stuff done. Stresses were under control, what have you. Until uh, I, was tr I could trust that they were all going to stop to do the harvest or something else while they started busting loose rocks up here. So... Boy, that is getting warm. Well, eventually, this may all crack up and, and drop as well. I've noticed that. These little uh, hanging areas, water and pressure on both sides, it'll start to fracture right, right through here. Even though it's not actually a bottom or a side, you know, like, like this right here, supporting all the weight, it'll still crush inwardly. All right, so food is up quite high. Only 31,000 cows right now. So, yeah, we do need food to be a, a decent priority. Um, plumbing's still working. Still working, looking good. Ooh, they got it done. All right. So they'll come clean up the last of this. The rest of it will collect in here. Hopefully not so high that it disables this. I'm thinking we'll always be able to, uh, to get rid of this water in time. I'm just kicking around now if I want to make an easier way for them to get down there. I mean, just to drop straight down and grab it and go right back up again. If we contaminate and drop in, we're going to drop into right here. It's not actually being used for anything. They'll still just suck out, I right hear, only the water. They'll filter it themselves in that sense. I kind of like that idea. Let's ladder at least those two. Let's deconstruct just buildings right there. I don't remember what's... I think there's power in there. There's power and plumbing in there. Yeah. You guys will deconstruct that. We will do that while you're here. And that should get the mother to drain this about as fast as it makes it. Now they can't get from here to there to grab the polluted dirt, unfortunately. They still have to run the long way. Yeah, but they can get out that way. Okay, so they can drop down in here jump across and then jump up and go okay that works okay that's all taken care of you guys are start having a a carbon dioxide problem here because we're doing what we are stressing we are running power which is almost over not running power here because we haven't hit 35% because not much load on this one we did get this delivered good we got that delivered I did up these two up that one to 1,200. This one to 14? 14. To push more oxygen into the area, which will help push down the carbon dioxide. And I was hoping it would help, uh, you know, even move temperatures around, possibly. We'll see. But we have never got more than 100 and something uh, grams of pressure up here when this was shutting down at 500. 
So take that pressure up a little higher. So otherwise, we are delivering waters. We still need... Does it say... It says emitting. No, do I get this? Well, we're still delivering. Didn't it say awaiting? I clicked the right one. I did. Well, it's no longer awaiting. Okay. Got something working in there. Need a little more in here. And you. Make you an eight as well. Long term. Long term. Let's think about things. We want to get into probably hydrogen power. In fact, this area right here might just kind of tunnel all this out once I come up with a a better system for entering it. The carbon, uh, the, the chlorine, you know, it's under high pressure, so it's going to expand into a larger area. And as this pressure dumps into these spaces, it could even get sucked in a little bit and start running into the base. It drops low, and hydrogen goes high. If this weaved up and went down or something like that in, I kind of wonder if it would act as a as a trap and make sure that nothing travels through because it'll always clung, you know hug to the either the 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 bottom or the the top or the bottom. In fact, the lower pathway could even vent down in, and the upper pathway could vent up. Ooh, I like that idea. All right, I'll keep that one in mind. Um, and then we could get into the electrolyzer, which will let off oxygen and hydrogen, fill the upper part with hydrogen, start, uh, basically we'd even just set a couple of hydrogen generators up in here. I've always piped the hydrogen down to somewhere else that the generator was sitting. I've never thought of just sticking the generator right up in top and putting a, a uh, uh, an air pump and just dumping it right in within a few tiles of it. That's an interesting idea. In fact, I kind of like that idea. Um, what's happening out here? You guys are pretty much under control. Stress is getting up there. Handy, you are right there. Who else do we have here? Ebony and Natalia. Natalia's there. Ebony, you over here? Right there. Ebony, where are you? And you are... Taking a bio break. Okay, I'm not going to interrupt you there. Um, I see some food needs to be swept. I want to get to a point to where we can... I, I can trust that they're going to just do what they need to do while I'm planning out the next step. No one's going to be drowning or suffocating or getting trapped somewhere. There's no real construction going on. Is there anything to give them to do? The more we lower this, the more the carbon dioxide will drop out of the base. I kind of like that idea. And eventually they're going to need an easy way to get down to the water. So let's go ahead and continue what I had originally planned. Take you on down to there. Something like that. And let's set up another group of ladders. Like so. That looks pretty good. And looks like that placement there comes off of here real well. I've messed up down here. I'm off by one. So I thought about correcting that one. No, I'm off by this one because of here. Ah. Oh, well. I just have to double up on that. Anyway, set these guys in every other. And let's let them just jump in and tackle this area. Um, in case this always remains separate, let's cancel these guys. Right there. Alright, I like that better. So, let's increase actually no there is another job to do we need bedrooms that's what we need to be doing okay let's go that route so prioritize and eight should be enough this is too hot over here so let's eight from here actually on up to like that there there Come on now. There. What have I missed? That's good? I think it is. Alright. That'll give them something to do. And yeah, they probably will find some way to get trapped in there. And 
die on me. <laughs> While that's happening, let's think about this area. All right. So we know what we're going to want uh, to move air. So gas, liquid pump, gas pump. There you are. I, well, I wish that the overlay wouldn't darken everything out so much. I want to be able to see what's here. We don't want to get into this layer right here. It's a good, strong barrier. Let's let's take advantage of it. Um, in fact, speaking of taking advantage of, let's do something like this instead. Dig out the area. Like so. And I can use this. Actually, I'm going to do just that. I think more like that. Okay. Like so. You know, if I can keep from breaking into all the chlorine, that would be even better. Though it would be nice to connect these guys together and release him. He will convert all of the chlorine into uh, polluted oxygen. And it'd be nice to harvest these guys. Yeah. Hmm. But I don't want to get into here. Let's see here. I'm trying to create a dome. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to explain what I'm doing, but I'm thinking three steps ahead of my mouth. I'm trying to create a dome for all of the hydrogen that's down here and what we're going to create to move up into that I can then pump into a couple of, of hydrogen generators. That's the plan. And then we will pump oxygen out of there, send it into here, and start filling all this up. And at the same time, unfortunately, we also need to get coal gener uh, power generation going, which is probably down here, and even more of these guys to try to control. Now, we'll get into... Let me think here. This guy, where is that? Refinement? No, it's oxygen. The scrubber. There you are. The scrubber uh, takes carbon dioxide and spits out polluted water. Yeah. So water... Yeah, water and carbon, di uh, carbon dioxide in. Ah, okay. So we're going to need more water to do this. Yeah, we don't have the... We do have it right here. 137 degrees, 129 degrees. Tempted just to go down and tap the lower part. Ha. Ah. We could then take that hot water into this guy, which shouldn't harm it. I think it needs a little more heat than that to harm it. That would run this guy. And potentially even this one. Again, you're going to lose the water afterwards. It's going to turn into something else. It's going to turn into polluted water. It's going to turn into oxygen and hydrogen. So we're not trying to... We don't have a need for chilled water for these guys. They're just going to be used up. That actually looks real interesting. Let's see what our options are. Where else can we get water water yeah uh-huh right there what are your temperatures 119 okay okay we could pop it put a little shelf right there and start pumping clean water out of this take it down right into this area that i need yeah and then run a pipe down through the base and run the air scrubber down here okay well, that looks reasonable. What I think I will do is lay all of this out, and then I'll do some, some constructing of it off-camera, because it's going to take so many episodes to actually build a system this size. But let's lay it out so you can get the concepts of how it all works. Let's go in with mesh tiles. And copper is what we've got the most of. Everything's going to be five priority right now. A pump... That's about all that I need. If I don't get down to the bottom, I should have no reason to get into polluted water. So we can sit right here above the striation and just use the part that we want. Later, if I do want to pull the polluted water out of here, I could put one right down in here and do that. And then eventually we'll only have clear water in there. Now as I use the... Oh, that's right. We are well, still only 111 degrees. Actually, that's even cooler. Okay. That works. Um... I couldn't go one layer lower if I wanted to, right? I could. Weird. You let me build with the plant? Why will it let me build with the plant? I can't put a... Huh. Okay. Let's go there. Boy, it does not want to do that second 
click. Ah, it doesn't turn red, but it won't let me build. That's what I wanted to know. All right. Cancel you. That's as low as I can go. All right. Pump. Water. Plumbing. Pump. Got to pump out of here. We're going to pipe up. Uh, any reason to insulate pipes here? I don't think so. And again, I don't think we're hot enough to do any damage right now. Let's grab a ladder just so that it's obvious what I'm up to. And we are oxygen breathable and very cold. Oh, we're at the bottom of a cold zone here. Very interesting. If we were to airlock here, here. Okay. Don't even really need to tile that. Yeah, I really don't. We will later if it's an issue, but it isn't at this point. Okay, we're running sandstone. That'll be fine. Up to there, right back down again. Um, and something like that. Let's essentially airlock this way. Do I turn us and go another route? No, nope, we'll just do like that. That'll be fine. It'll be different. There. Problem. I'm trying to think my way through all the steps right now. Hydrogen is going to go up. It really is. It's going to just love going up. How do I get into this area? I'm almost thinking I want to go this way. Kind of like that better. We're doing nothing. We have power. We have power. You guys are running around trying to find water. <laughs> yep. <laughs> did I hit the priorities on these? I did not. We've got this because we, because we started to move over to that one. Okay. Um, water there. Water here. We're just not accomplishing much anymore. Spending a lot of our time de-stressing. And at least we're keeping these guys up and running. And we're just gathering water a little bit at a time. Nine kilograms. Okay. Are we all running? Looks like they've actually gotten two, all of them. Okay. Just we're near the end of the day and we've accomplished our, our six algae terrariums and that's about it. Huh. But they're functioning, so I'll leave them alone. But, yeah, we need to be able to build this without going into this area. Long term. We cannot come off the top of this guy. We need to come down low. But I don't want to... Okay, okay, I've got an idea. Let's do this and continue laddering down two steps and dig out one two three dig out from here something like so we could then tile like so I have to take that out or do I move my ladder over I mean yeah let's move the ladder over all right cancel you all right, ladder down from here, like so. Something like that. We're going to head up into here. This is going to be separated off from anything, any source of hydrogen. Okay, so pathway getting into here. We're going to head uphill. Like so. Dig over. Uh, gas permeable vent. Over. Down. No. Alright, let me see this with ladders. Let's go up. Like so. Just wonder if I want two wide or one. 
I think I want two. Okay. So ladder is actually going to go down right here. That's exactly what I didn't want to do. Cancel you. Okay. Let me think. Let me do it this way. Boy, I am not drawing straight today. Okay. We're going to go through like this. We're going to ladder back down. And just because that's driving me nuts, we're going to do that. Too wide. Tile. Right there. Like so. Tile. All right, actually permeable there and there. That can't do that. Cancel. Okay. So hydrogen that does make it to this point is going to just head up top. And that'll be fine. Any chlorine that makes it in is going to drop down somewhere. Okay. Are we too low? Do we have to go that low? We're already going to be... Let's draw the rest of this so it's obvious what I'm doing. Tile. There we go. Something like that. They're going to walk in. They're going to head up, over, down. To what? It probably does not have to go down that far. And the chlorine actually may not stay that long. Yeah, we'll get this converted out and it'll be done. Although I don't know if the bleach stone emits more. It just might. It might be a, a hydrogen emitter. Okay. And then, let's see, ladder outside, back up to like so. So that's kind of the idea that I was imagining. Out of this, and this bottom half may change as I actually start to build it, but the idea is that out of this we would be able to drop any chlorine gas back out into a lower area. Something like that. And then any hydrogen that makes it through this walkway, it's not likely that it will, but should that happen... Should I leave this open to allow hydrogen on purpose to go up through there? Huh. I don't know. I'll think about that as I go. But um, any hydrogen would escape this way. Chlorine escape that way. All right. So there is a possible airlock system. I'm not looking at holding in pressure. I'm not looking at uh, you know we're going to create lots of of, of uh, oxygen and hydrogen. We're going to be pumping that oxygen out to here. Eventually, we're going to hit maximum pressure, which means it's going to be pushing back this way. And it should actually be blowing through, I'm hoping, to the point that it's pushing back any of these other chemicals that are trying to get in. So that's the thought there. Up in here, wherever this shape is going to end up being, let's put it that way. Dig. I could go another notch up in here. Like that. Sure. Something like that. And then into there. And on down and then same thing here so basically figure all of this gone all of that gone all these are priority five so they're not an issue this is igneous not as important this is important here though but we will be building with these materials at some point too so may as well take it all All right, and eventually we will grab all this bleach stone and make, where is that, medical? Uh, plumbing? No, medical. The hand sanitizer, so they can wash their hands with it. So with all of that as my markers is kind of what I was getting to. And let me take a peek through here again. Everybody's kind of doing stuff good. So we're going to have a mess table for Jafar soon and a bed for Jafar. Um... And then one more. We've got uh, I've got two more names on my uh, on my list here to, to add to the group. Food to twenty one hundred. That is dropping. That is dropping. Why is it dropping so much? Let's get a second uh, food 
microbe musher. We are using what power over here right now? We're getting close to that thousand mark over here. Yeah, I may have no choice. Let's go here. Food. There you are. Do I do I want to cook? How many watts? It's only 60 watts? Okay. It's 240 for this other guy. Huh. Let's get that built. Let's see what the options are before I put a second one of these in to convert more of the meal ice over. And I may have to get a, another round of these guys going somewhere. That might be an issue. Um, power is what I'm looking for. Power. Yeah, tap you down. 60 more watts shouldn't be an issue. 240 would be. Once that's built, we'll see what the options are. Um, let's get back into here real quick. The thought was plumbing the gas pump. Where are you? Right there. Right up here near the top. All the hydrogen is going to go up. And it wouldn't hurt. Maybe one more down low. And both of these guys will pipe into... Hmm... Now, I'll figure out the final layout later. A gas filter. So, input is like so. Yeah, probably would be best just to cancel gas pipe. Cancel that one. And gas pipe, this guy. In like so. There. Out of here. I got the right one? That looks funny. That's a liquid filter. Yeah, I thought that looked funny. Cancel you. Okay. I want the gas filter. Where are you at? There you are. That's the shape I'm used to seeing. That's the input. Um, is there a better place to put it? Maybe we'll go there. The way these guys work... Now, if I right-click, do I lose that? I probably do. The green, it will leave and dump back into the room. The orangish-yellow will actually be the one type of gas you want to filter out using this guy, in which case for us it's going to be hydrogen. So as soon as I click out, that goes away. So we will take hydrogen from here. Uh, I don't have room for my bridge. Can I bridge right onto that? I wonder if I can. Uh, input is there. I want to do that. Ooh, it will let me right out of there. Great. It's acting like a pipe now. Before, it wouldn't uh, move through any obstacle. That was really annoying. All right, we're going to bridge right over the top of that other line there and be able to come out and go to a power. Don't have them yet. Okay. I suppose it's time to get back to uh, research. So what do we have available to us that we can deal with? Mush Fry uses the mush bars. It gives us a negative two. It's not really good. A Gristleberry takes the bristle blossoms, which we do have. Doesn't add anything else. Removes disease potential from food. Okay. Let's go that route. You're right there. Continuous. Nine. Start cooking those things. What? Missing bristleberries. These guys have been eating them? Is that what I'm getting here? Food. These are bristleberries, right? Bristle Blossoms, you, Bristle Berries, zero. Okay, so let's get into Consumables, Bristle Berries, Gristle Berry. Where's the Bristle, what do we call this in here, Bristle Blossom? Do I have the ability, there you are, Bristle Berry. And Gristle Berry. Let me make sure I'm seeing the right thing. Bristle Berry is what we get off these plants here. Yeah, gristleberry is what we want to make. All right, we're no longer going to eat bristleberries so that this guy can, electrical wire 9, cook them into something that's a, a more nutritious and uh, gets more calories out of, the, uh, out of the process. But that didn't help us here, so we're still going to have to put in, we'll get to our dupe in a second here, another one of these so we can get more of these guys made at a time. If I were to go here, I can tap power on this side. So yeah, let's do that. Nine. There. Power. As soon as they get up, they'll tackle this one. 
And we'll go down and in. All right, so this guy's going to go in. Let's do this new duplicate. Let's see if we have... Hey, we got some learning here. A 15, though. Am I going to make an exception here? Maybe I will. We'll see. Um, although that's the face that's very similar to Ebony. I'd like to have everyone their own face, if possible. That would make it a little bit easier to keep track of someone by sight. Um, otherwise, would have been good. Except for the 15. Though they will all increase to this range on their own. In fact, can that be seen here? Is that jobs? Consumables, vitals. There we go. Stress. That's still not it. What am I looking for? I guess I have to look at their individual stats here. Where does it say what their decor expectation? Decor 71. Uh, duplicates become stressed in decor expectations 50. So we're already up to expectations of 50. 30. So it will grow with time. There's a 50. And what I'm curious about... I wonder if there's any way to really track this. Where I lost it here. Right there. 50. See down at the very bottom of the screen there? Surrounding zero decor expectations, 50. So all of these you know, tens or, one, or zeros or negative whatevers have gone up over time. And what I'm wondering about, I proposed this idea to Murphy to wait to see if he has any thoughts on it or if he's heard anything, but if you guys know, um, as these guys skill up, as they get better and better at things, athletics 20, as they become worth more, do their expectations go up as a result? That's something I'm curious about. Do we want to train everybody to the max on every category? Or do we want to have Natalia only do power, nothing but power, forever hold your power? And only have 20 plus a 1 or 2 here and there so that the decor expectation stays down and the food expectation stays down. So let me know if you guys have heard anything. any Anything to do with the math behind the, uh, the screen here. I think I'm going to pass on these guys and wait to try to have an individual face for every character in the game reject all otherwise let's do a little more designing here than call this episode done didn't get a whole lot done but that's fine we're doing a lot of maintenance and getting caught up i gotta get i do have a time limit i've got to get through these doors in time if water ran down in here would that be really bad it actually wouldn't they just run out here and, and suck it up okay yeah. Okay. Priority. And let's throw an 8 into this area here. And then... What? Oh, that goes slow. An 8 down. Into there, I guess. Something like that. I'll redo that, that ladder later when I figure it all out. But... And that jumped away really odd. It did all take, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if they want to come punch their way through there, it's not really going to harm us. It's... Well, it's potentially going to let... Okay, then we will do this. Priority... Nine. These guys. And seal that in. Ah, uh, just to... Uh, there. That will only, for a little while, let gases travel through. But it, before they dig up any further, they'll they'll fill in everything they can reach here. Okay. So, and I don't have the hydrogen generator to put in here to even lay it out. Okay. So let's get the research going again. It is queued up. Just need it going. Research is going to be done by Jobs. Research. By Nitty and Jafar at this point. Alexander has at least got a 2. We have a negative 1 and a 1. So... That's going to get going again. Take you up to an 8. Power is still more important, though it'll get topped off quickly each day. Yeah, we're not even running these down. Which means... Are we out of algae again? <laughs> oh, the never-ending race to our doom. 
Yeah, which means we need more algae. All right, I'm going to call this one done and have a little nervous breakdown and get back to you next time, folks. This has been Noble Rambler. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.